Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've just thought I'd come on and say thank you to all my new subscribers. I've had so many lately, it's crazy. I don't know where you're coming from but I know some of you are in America because you know, every now and again you'll tell me that you're from um, North Carolina, hello, and Alaska, hello, New York, hello. Yeah, so exciting for me to see my numbers going up, but more exciting that, you know, somebody out there is sharing, I think, sharing my stuff, which is nice because it's bringing more of you to me. But yeah, hello and welcome, and again, welcome and thank you to all of my previous subscribers and anyone who's been with me from day one. So yeah, um, this video is all about concrete. I just got home yesterday and thought, I'm gonna play with concrete. It was just a thing, I keep seeing these gorgeous pots on Pinterest and I'm just thinking, can I make those? Watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube by, um, you know, like clustered DIY channels, no particular person, but yeah, I thought I'm gonna have a go. So bought some, tried it yesterday, some failed, some didn't. Today I'm gonna make a big bowl, I figured, Go hard or go home, I might as well go big. Like, I'm gonna make a big bowl, she says. Famous last words. But I thought, if, if I pull this off and if it works, then we can all get to concrete in, right? We can just concrete everything, just everything. Yeah, let's go. Here are the pots I made yesterday. I mean, a couple turned out really cute, but yeah, a couple really did not go to plan and a couple are still wet and I'm not sure why they're still wet when it's a quick dry 10 minutes a minute. Anyway, this is the stuff I bought. It is Polycell Easy Mix Quick Set Cement Ultra Strong Formulation for Repairs to Masonry. But of course, I just want to make pots. I just, I don't know, I just want to make everything. So this was from Wilco. You can obviously get it from hardware, department stores, and those sorts of things. Now, this one came with two bags. There's one bag left, and it cost around five pounds. I want to say five pounds or four pounds something. So relatively cheap if you want to knock out a few pots for your garden or just make a decorative thing. Anyway, today I bought these two giant mixing bowls. These were actually also from Wilco's. This was 45 pence and I think this one was 85 pence. So yeah, that's the plan, a giant concrete bowl. So let's get started. So these pots I made yesterday, these tiny little pots, I actually used these. These are just um, cardboard planters that I got from Wilco, um, large one and a smaller one. I poured the concrete in here, pushed this one in, held it down with rocks, and that created this pot. But what happened was, obviously, naturally, the cardboard stuck to it, which is fine. It did wash off in the end, so I just need to scrub these up a bit. But to go large, I'm going to use these big bowls. And what you want to do is wear your mask. It does say on there, wear a mask, wear gloves. Um, I have neither. So don't do what I do. Do not follow me. Be safe. Do it properly. So you need three parts powder to one part water. Now I've got an old mixing bowl here that I do use for other projects. So you want to do three parts powder, one part water. And once it's in, give it a really, really good stir as it does dry super fast. Once you've made your mix, now you would have seen I only had two and a half cups in that packet. So I did still add a whole one water because it will dry eventually, it just will take longer to dry. But yeah, so once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and pour it into whatever vessel you're using. So I'm just gonna go in the big one, straight in the big one, pour it in. 
making sure you get every last little drop of that. Get your money's worth, basically. Get your money's worth and make sure it's all in there. Now it does say quick dry, but I'm just gonna give it a bit of a shake. Just to get the air bubbles out, I've seen them do this, so it makes me look professional. Can actually see air bubbles rising up. What I'm gonna go ahead now and do is push the smaller bowl down into that, and then have some rocks ready to keep it in place. Now I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to use some concrete parts, let's improvise, just to get the weight down in there. Okay, I'm happy with that placement, I might just take out one of the pots. And make sure it's pretty central and straight. Right, you can see the gap in between is pretty equal all the way around. Now, I'm hoping that is not touching the bottom. I might just take out a rock just in case. But I can already see the edge is going to be unequal, so I will have to sand that down. But yeah, so I'm going to leave that now to dry. It says 10 minutes, so I'm going to leave it for an hour. I'll just have my dinner and then come back to it. And hopefully we'll pop it out and have an absolutely beautiful bowl. If we don't, you'll never see this. <laughs> I'll see you back when it's dry. So just a quick update. After 10 minutes, I've come to check on it and it is hot. Like even just to feel the bowl is so hot. It's quite fascinating stuff really. But it is solid, solid as a rock after 10 minutes. But... I am going to leave it for an hour before I turn it out. Right, it's been about 40 minutes now. Could obviously not wait the hour. I've no idea. <laughs> I've no idea. This is the scary bit. So, I'm going to grab a tea towel, put the tea towel down underneath, but I'm not sure why. I just feel like I need to do that. Um, or, uh, right, okay. Let's do it this way. Right, I'm going to flip it. Oh, oh my, oh, my <laughs> oh, it's hot, it's so hot and it, it's solid, so I'm not worried about, oh my gosh, there's things falling off. Okay, move those. Let's have a look. Oh no. Oh no, am I going to get the middle bit off? Okay, let's let's ease it. Shall we ease it? Push it round. Push it round. Oh, please. Oh, God. <laughs> How does the top come off so easily? Suction, I guess. Right. Maybe I need to leave it longer. Do I need to leave it longer? Uh, it just <laughs> this is YouTube gold right here. Proper, proper professional. Okay, here's the thing. <gasps> Look at all the debris. Right. Maybe that's gonna ease it, wedge it. Maybe I need to let it dry longer. <laughs> Guys, this is smooth. This is like marble. I cannot tell you. <gasps> oh my gosh, I mean, this is hot, so hot. Right, listen, gonna leave <laughs> leave it a bit longer because I'm impatient and I don't want to break the pot in half so I'll come back in about one minute <laughs> right so I actually put an ice block in here I don't know if that was the right decision but it's popped straight off um, so it works but yeah the bottom has got air in so there's lessons here as well the bottom has got a huge air pocket here can you see this a huge air pocket here 
But I think if I bought more, and if I was really bothered about it, I could fill that in. I'm not bothered about it. Can you see the shine on that? It is literally like marble. I mean, who knew? Right. So in the beginning of the video, I said I was making a huge bowl. As it turns out, it's more like a saucer, like a cereal bowl. But, oh, for a first attempt, I am happy, 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 happy. I'm gonna let that dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'm gonna go around all the edges with outside in the fresh air with um, with a sander, um, sandpaper, and just get those edges down. You can definitely see there's a thicker edge here than there is here, but these are all little lessons we can learn together. Um, yeah, I am in love. So the plan for this bowl is to actually make something alive. I'm not a very good plant mum, but I had a vision of having lots of, I say lots, maybe three, little um, succulents because I just think they don't take much looking after. And I'm, like I said, I'm really not a very good plant mum. So that is the plan for this bowl. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. A few lessons here learned together at the same time because it's a first for me. And if it's a first for you, then hopefully I've helped you see a few things. So on the inside here, you might be able to see there are some tiny pin head air holes here. So maybe a bit more shaking up to be done before it settles. A huge one here. I don't know where that's even going. But yeah, actually still, I just love the roughness of it. I do love things that aren't perfect if you've watched any of my videos before you will totally know that about me but i absolutely love it so my plan is let it dry sand the edges back a bit because at the moment you can just crunch them off but i do want this about as smooth as it can be throw in some you know living plants and you've got yourself a really nice planter and that is going to live in the center of my table in the living room and I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for being a part of my very first concrete experience. I have to say, it can be a bit addictive. So yeah, I think I might continue. I already know what I wanna do with this. I bought this huge long faux pick thing from the garden center. It's about um, just under a meter long, it's quite long. And yeah, I'm gonna make something with this so that it can hang on my shelf. That'll be the next DIY. But thanks so much for joining me, guys. And thanks again for all of my new subscribers. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.